realize that I am an emotional person. But after dreaming about a Rapunzel violin for over 30 years, it's done. And even though I haven't been able to practice for a long time, this instrument sounds better and it's more beautiful than I ever dreamed. And it was only possible because of Disney. Making a master violin is no easy task and not to be taken lightly. The investment is staggering and there are literally hundreds of critical steps along the way. And so few ever see it, I've decided to share a few pictures. There is so much more to violin making than one might think, like choosing the wood and making a completely new mold, cutting and gluing the end blocks and corner blocks, then joining the back, bending the linings and the ribs, gluing them all in until finally you have created the perfect form. At least the perfect form for this violin, because every master instrument is meant to be just as unique as the person who will play upon it. The process is pretty much the same as it's been for 500 years. Even the fixture for gluing the body, I found in a book dated 1694. There's a lot of work, and it includes planing and scraping, inlaying the purfling, and finally, cutting the unique Florentine sound openings, <laughs> then fitting the bass bar and closing the body of the instrument. The scroll is the trademark of each maker, and I fell in love with the Florentine style when I was 11 years old in the basement of a museum while looking at the broken pieces of Stradivari's instruments with my father. I really did first think of making a Rapunzel violin over 30 years ago, yet every time I would read the original story, the images would always turn out cold and lifeless. And when you think about it, that's pretty much what the original story is, other than the girl had long hair and her tears had cured his blindness. So I eventually set the project aside, not sure that I would ever make the instrument. But Disney changed all that for me. And as Lumiere the candlestick might say, then Tangled came along and oops-a-daisy. I know this first sketch looks pretty pathetic, but that's how most works of art really do begin with a rough idea. The movie not only changed how I looked at the old legend, my dream was reborn and I fell in love with the new Rapunzel. What really surprised me though, beyond the other imagery of the movie, were the thugs and ruffians. Because just like them, other than possibly this musician, I had a dream. And now I, a lot like Rapunzel in the boat watching the lanterns, have fulfilled it. So, this instrument is not based upon the original story. It is instead based upon a new and exciting story, which is literally to me a breath of fresh air. Yes, this violin is made in the tradition of the old masters. It has the finest wood, the finest varnish, and in the end, even though there have been other elaborate instruments made, with this one, I have spared absolutely no expense. It's impossible to really capture the feel of a master violin accurately in photographs or even film because the colors change so drastically in the light when you move it around and the images are so full of flavor. The other beauty about true quality and this violin is that the closer you look, the better it looks. And you are never disappointed, regardless of who your favorite character is. Jacques Francais, one of the greatest connoisseurs who ever lived, once told me, 
You may be making all but perfect violins right now, but almost anything is possible if you will just free yourself and become an artist. After purchasing and selling so many of the greatest instruments of Stradivarius and Guarnerius, I don't know if this is exactly what Jacques Francais had in mind that day, since everyone's idea is different about what true art is and is not. But remembering how much he inspired me, especially after seeing the embellished violin that he had made, and that he was always looking forward to a new discovery, my dream is that he would be proud. Also, that this instrument will be owned by someone who shares the belief that dreams really do come true.